Senator Brant McCready is inviting the Bureau of Prisons to come out and see the condition of Guam's prison and give their advice. Obviously, we had our, our roundtable meeting, which you attended, Clint, and, um, you know, some things came up that, that we should invite experts here. We should bring experts here to tell us exactly what we need for the prison. That's exactly what Senator Brant McCready is trying to do. In fact, he sent a letter to the director of the Bureau of Prisons, Charles Samuels, Jr., asking for his assistance and expertise in formulating a strategic plan for the prison's future. I'm, I'm almost certain that they will say we need a new prison and we need one now. But uh, so I'm, I'm excited. I hope I hope they take this opportunity to come to Guam and to um, to uh, tour the prison and to, to make sure that we are taking the right steps necessary to alleviate this problem. And the problem of the prison is only getting worse. In fact, just last week, federal judge Alex Munson gave DOC numerous deadlines to meet to establish things like a health record format, informed consent forms, infection control programs, and pharmaceutical operations. Munson also gave a deadline of September 30th to fix their electronic locking system. These deadlines are much shorter than what DOC had been hoping for. Clint, the writing is on the wall as far as where we're heading for this federal receivership in the prison. Um, when you talk about locking mechanisms, it's the house is falling and the windows are broken, but you want to put $3 million worth of locks on the prison system. Um, that's tough. We're spending more money that we don't have to throw down a black hole of our correctional institution. I want to build a new prison. I think that's what the community needs to be safe. And Senator McCready says that the noose on the Department of Corrections will only get tighter with time. And he points out that this is something that should have been addressed 25 years ago.